The fall of the Soviet Empire in 1991 reverted control of local military industry back to host countries like Ukraine, as the Ukrainian army relied on the T-64 main battle tank, MBT. This very vehicle was produced at the primary factory in country, resulting in further development of the design to further the local battlefield solution, resulting in the T-64BM. Bullet derivative. In 1995, the country held 2,345 T-64 tanks in its fleet and this number was reduced to 2,215 by 2005. The modern Ukrainian army now fields 800 of the type and keeps over 1,000 in storage. Hundreds of the two-service T-64 tanks have been upgraded to the Bullet standard since modernization began. In 1999, the country introduced a pair of modernization initiatives aimed at keeping the tanks viable for the long term. The T-64BM2 upgraded incorporated a 57 DFM diesel engine of 850 horsepower, and added AT-11, Sniper, 9M119, anti-tank guided missile, ATGM, support as well as the newer 1A43U fire control system, FCS. The main gun was now loaded by the 6 its 43 loader. Alongside this mark was the T-64U which relied on the 1A45 FCS, the same as used in the T-80U and T-84 MBT models, and incorporated the updated TKN, 4S and PZU, 7 optic set. Gun control could be given to the tank commander himself. In either design, the tanks could be refitted with the 6 TDF diesel engine of 1000 horsepower for enhanced performance. Both models were also protected in Soviet-originated, contact, 5 explosive reactive armor, ERA, and carried a 7.62mm coaxial machine gun and 12.7mm anti-aircraft, AA, heavy machine gun, HMG, as standard. In the subsequent 50-ton T-64BM Bullet offering, the tank was rearmed with the 125mm KBA-3 series main gun, T-01, K-01 ER night sight, and combat ATGM missile support. Power was from the 5 TDFM diesel engine of 850 horsepower providing a range out to 240 miles at speeds of 45 miles per hour. The ERA protection package switched to the NIS type. These models began appearing in 2010 form the existing T-64 tank stock. In 2017, the modernized T-64BV was revealed. NIS ERA protection, thermal imaging, and TPN-1, TPV night sighting devices were all made standard. Communications were upgraded and satellite navigation added. Era blocks are set across the glassy plate, side armor skirts, and at the turret facings for maximum protection against modern battlefield threats. The AA gun sits at the commander's hatch cupola. Six smoke grenade discharges are set in single banks to either side of the turret. In 2019, the T-64BM2 Bullet appeared and this variant introduced the 1A43 UFCS TPN-1 TPV thermal imaging sighting device and updated communications equipment. A new turret ring was developed and additional armoring added around the engine compartment. Power was from the larger 6TD-1 diesel engine of 1,000 horsepower driving the track and wheel arrangement, dimensions of this new engine necessitating a rework of the engine compartment to accommodate the power pack. Testing of this new variant was undertaken in 2021. The BM2 showcases noticeable protection efforts all along the hull front, glassy plate, side skirts, and at the turret facings. The AA gun remains at the commander's position and the thermal imager is identified over the left-hand side of the turret. Smoke grenade discharges are retained along the turret sides. Despite its Cold War origins, the T-64 MBT continues in service with the modern Ukrainian army.